OECD is seen as being very important to the educational world, uh, policymaking world especially, because it sets standards and has uh, well-regarded comparisons among countries. There's a, uh, one survey called PISA, which looks at children around the world and compares 15-year-olds in reading and numeracy and, and other aspects of education problem solving and compares them so that policymakers know which policies to adopt. And as you well know, education, education is usually seen as the key the key to the future, but I think key is the wrong metaphor. It's really more of a boarding pass. It's a boarding pass that can get you to the gate to take you anywhere in the world to do anything you want to do. And education is changing here at the OECD too. The boarding passes used to be paper, now we have e-boarding passes. And now we're going to e-education, open education resources. Resources that are online, that are digital, that are available to everyone. It's becoming a public good education. And the standards and best practices and educational materials that we've had available only in very rich, very um, uh, developed countries are now available to developing countries, they're available to emerging economies, they're available to rich and poor students all over the world.